I can't wait to see what Luna's got to show us. Huh? Huh? That's it? You just wanted to show us your new bathing suit? Actually, getting this bathing suit made me think that maybe we should all go to the beach. The beach? A beach day? Great idea, Luna. We could go bodyboarding. <laughs> oh, I yeah, cool. I'd love to go to the beach. It's going to be so it's gonna fun. Be fun. What's wrong, Llama Llama? Don't you want to go to the beach? Well, I'm not really a beach guy. But since everyone else wants to go, why not? It could be fun, right? You kidding? It's going to be a blast! <laughs> oh. I don't know. Maybe I should have told my friends how I was feeling. You mean because you're... Afraid to go in the water. I'm not a very good swimmer. You know, honey, not knowing how to swim is nothing to be ashamed of. And it's something you can change, too. I can? How? You just have to get in the water and practice. I'd be happy to help you. Maybe I could give you some swimming lessons so you'll feel more confident. Really? But where? We don't have a swimming pool or anything. No, but we know someone who does. <laughs> Swim a lot, Miss Elephant? Oh, yes, all the time. Would you like to see my swan dive? Oh! Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, come on, honey. It'll be fun. We'll just take it slow. Goodbye, machines. On, off, on, off. Bye, house. <laughs> They'll be here when we return. Okay, off to nature we go. Welcome to our overnight camping adventure in the woods. I love nature during the day and at night, and now we'll enjoy it together. are cool during the day, and even cooler at night. Yes, especially the temperature. I see you all have <laughs> one bag. This is all I brought. I brought this one bag and this. But I just have what I need, the essentials. That's a lot of essentials. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing really out here. We have to bring it all. There are more bugs out here. Just tell the bugs. Leave me alone. You have to be brave. <laughs> <laughs> OK, my brave campers. We have a fun opportunity to be creative without gadgets, and we will. But first, let's go on a short hike. Yeah! Yeah! Great. Then we'll set up camp. I like this plan. Let me just put it in my directional device. Euclid, remember, no gadgets. But it could help us. Well, I'll try. Hmm, this no gadgets challenge may not be so easy. Now remember, kids, we're guests here in the woods, so we have to be considerate. No moving things around, no littering. We leave only footprints in nature. Now before we start, just remember, everyone can swim at different levels. <laughs> Hope I'm not too late. Hey, uh, kiddo. Ready to get wet? Grandpa? What are you doing here? Going to help teach us how to swim? Well, no. You see, your mama told me you were worried about getting in the water, and I got to thinking. I, I feel the same way. You? You're scared of the water? Yeah. I never really learned to swim either. Really? Whoa. <laughs> So, we're kind of the same? Exactly the same. We'll stick together, kiddo. Okay, let's all get in the pool. You 
you can let go of the side of the pool. It's pretty shallow here. But what if my head goes underwater or, or if my ears get wet? I did that yesterday, too. It was fine. Plus, we're all here. It feels quite nice, I think. Just wash your face with the water so you get used to it. Hold your breath. Dip your face in and come right up. <gasps> hey! I did it! Wanna learn some other stuff? Okay, try this. Kick your legs and then paddle your hands underwater. They call this dog paddling. I call it new paddling. Or goat paddling. I prefer sheep paddling. Grandpa, or llama paddling. <laughs> and he's duck paddling. <laughs> Huff up. Hoof down, hoof up, hoof down. Hoof up, hoof down, hoof up, hoof down. I think I'm hoof down when I'm supposed to be hoof up. <coughs> it happens, Dad, and when we're at the beach swimming in the ocean, there may be some waves splashing up. Just stay calm and don't panic. Remember, staying calm is always the best way to be safe. Now you put the strokes and the kicks together. Let's all swim across the pool. And go! for the beach tomorrow. <laughs> Mr. Blue Jay's coming with us. It takes some work to camp out. Then you really appreciate the luxuries of home a little more. With all of us helping, we'll set up our campsite in no time. Instead of a house, we have a tent. tent. We don't have a refrigerator. We have a cooler with ice. And we've collected a lot of sticks for our outdoor oven. A fire! And now it's time to eat. That was a good dinner, Graham. And all cooked in our outdoor oven. Wait, is it darker? Hmm. Hmm. It is. It's almost nighttime. Don't worry, Nellie. We're still here together. We'll be brave together. Nellie, look around and remember that the biggest change at night is it'll be darker. But the same stuff is here, just a few different sounds. But no light. We have a big fire. And some lamps. <laughs> but you could. There's no electricity out here. You can't plug a lamp into a tree. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> I bet that's Mr. Blue Jay's friend, Mrs. Owl. Who? Speaking of who, who, who wants some dessert before bedtime? What fun to roast marshmallows under the stars at night. <laughs> I forgot we were outside. <sighs> but we are, and it's pretty dark. 
Yeah, it is. But it's okay. The same stuff is around us from when the sun was out. Remember? <laughs> I believe Mrs. Owl said, Hoo hoo hoo! Time to go into the tent and get ready to sleep. I promise you warm sleeping bags. Okay, into the tent we go. A moon roof! So cool! I still don't think I can sleep with all the sounds from outside. You can, Nelly. Huh? You're brave. Will listening to music help? And I have alarm clocks to wake us up in the morning. Two alarm clocks? <laughs> <laughs> you brought a lot of gadgets, Euclid. Actually, we have music right outside. Let's listen closely to the sounds and think of them as music. It's nature's big symphony. I hear a cricket. <laughs> I hear... <laughs> and... <laughs> it sounds like they're all talking to each other. Good night. <laughs> hmm. Well, good morning, everyone. I see nature's alarm clocks. The sun and birds woke us all up. Euclid, you won the challenge and didn't use any gadgets on our camp out. Thank you. It was actually quite a fun challenge. I like the woods. Yay, Euclid! And you were okay, Nellie? Psh, I'm fine, piece of cake. So can we go on another hike? We sure can. But first, breakfast. And look who's back to join in. Good morning, <laughs> Mr. Blue Jay. <laughs>